Yo, I'm gonna talk about some relatable stuff, especially for men. We've all been through this and it sucks. Don't you hate it when you have unprotected sex with a woman and then nine months later she has a baby? I mean, that kid looks nothing like me. I demand a paternity test. God knows some of these females think they won the lottery because they were impregnated by somebody who works at the Sinclair gas station. People always say, wear a condom. Like, no, those things feel terrible. And what's the point of having sex if all you're gonna feel is rubber? Might as well just do it with a glove. It feels exactly the same. Not that I would know. You gotta pull out, get a plan B, or find somebody who's on birth control. Otherwise, you're gonna pay child support for 18 years. Just ask NBA Youngboy. At the age of 22, he already has eight children with seven different women. It begs the question, how many children is he gonna have by the time he's 30? I'm guessing he's gonna have at least a dozen, and let's hope he keeps making hit records because that child support is about to be a hundred grand a month. And back in 2017, he made one of his baby mamas sleep outside the hotel room while he cheated on her. It's not what y'all making it into. It's not as bad as y'all making it seem. Okay, I'm not in the room. Okay. I'm good. Maybe I just didn't need to go to sleep tonight, shit. I don't know. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm good. You feel me? And I slept on the floor last night because I wanted to. Why not just ask her to join? But before you feel bad for her, she has amassed over 3.2 million followers on Instagram. Her biggest accomplishment in life was banging somebody successful. Although, his most famous baby mama is probably Yaya Mayweather. And Jesus Christ, she looks just like Floyd. But can she use her hands though? Apparently not, because she stabbed one of young boy's other baby mamas named Lepatra Jacobs. This kind of proves that having money doesn't stop you from doing hood rat shit. Now we gotta go easy on this next guy because he did pass away, but DMX had 17 children with 11 different women. That's an entire football team with six players on the bench. He got married in 1999 to Tashera Simmons. Together they had four children. She would sue him in 2016 for failing to provide 10 grand a month in child support. And in 2012, he was sued by another woman named Patricia for $1 million, again for unpaid child support. And just a few years earlier, another woman named Monique sued him for $1.5 million. And despite millions of dollars being taken from him, he kept having kids throughout the 2010s. His last two kids were twins, born in 2019. DMX would pass away two years later without a will, and since he didn't have one, there are a lot of disputes over who's gonna get his money. Now, Chicago drill rapper Chief Keef supposedly has 10 kids with 10 different women. One of his kids was named Snowfilmon.com to promote his new album. Filmon is the name of his record label, and using your own children for product placement might be the new wave. Hell, if you name your kid Famous Criminals, you might be entitled to a free t-shirt, shipping not included. Now if you're curious about the guy in the thumbnail, his name is Shoddy Low. You're probably too young to remember, but he was a part of a rap group named D4L, and they had a hit song called Laffy Taffy. He had a somewhat successful solo career, but he was poppin' enough to have 11 kids with 10 different women, and that includes 9 daughters. It's crazy how it works, man. If you're a man whore, you usually end up having daughters. He was supposed to have a reality show called All My Baby Mamas on Oxygen. The show ended up being pulled due to controversy about perpetuating or glorifying negative stereotypes. Just a few years later, Shoddy Low would die in a car accident. Rest in peace. His funeral was held at a Baptist church in Atlanta, and after the service, they took his casket to the Blue Flame, which was his favorite strip club. And when I die, please do the exact same thing. Shot a little last time at the Blue Flame. Now some honorable mentions. Fetty Wap has seven kids with six different women. Flava Flav also has seven kids, but with only three women. And Boozy has eight kids with five women. You might be thinking to yourself, 
These guys have way too many kids. The world might become overpopulated one day if this continues. And Bill Gates thinks that overpopulation is a problem, which is why he invented the Xbox, to prevent men from having sex. And girls, if your boyfriend has one of these, then you should be happy, because at least you know he's not cheating. Elon Musk disagrees. He believes that the population is going to collapse in the future and that people aren't going to have kids. And that's why he invented the Tesla. Because if you own a Tesla, then you are in danger of having several different baby mamas. Take a picture of one of these and you'll get hella DMs. It makes sense though. A man concerned about overpopulation created a device to keep men busy. And another man who was concerned about underpopulation created a car to keep men busy. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out.